Well, hello, friends. I'm Shannon Keebler with Empower Consulting, and I'm excited to dive into three digit place value, adding 100 and adding 10. Let's get started. Let's review our place value drawings. Remember that this equals one. One circle is one. Two, three, four, five, pause, we always give a break. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And remember that a circle equals one. It's a one circle. But when I get ten of them, then I'm going to make a ten stick. And now we know that a stick equals ten. And if I were to circle every one of these, and make another 10 stick and every one of these because there's 10 in each column and another 10 stick that I could make it simpler by just drawing my 10 sticks. But I know if I were to do this over and over again that I would have 10 in this, 10 here, 10 here. Let's count how many one circles I would have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So even though I didn't circle all of those circles here to do 10 tens, I know that a 10 stick stands for 10. So if I did 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, I know now this is 100 one circles or let's count how many tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know there are ten tens, and ten tens is the same as one hundred. And we just prove that by counting by tens. So a ten ten sticks equals a hundred, but to make it a shortcut, we're going to draw a box around it and now we're going to call that box 100. And if I call it 100, then I know a circle equals 1, a stick equals 10, and a square is going to equal 100. So if I were to do a quick draw of the number 146, it would look like this. I would do a box for 100, and I know it's 100 because it has 100 ones or it has 10 tens. In my brain, I see 10 tens and I drew a box around it. I have four extra tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, and I know those are 10 sticks because each 10 stick has 10 ones. And then I have six extra ones. And I can go across one, two, three, four, five, pause, six, or I could do it vertically. One, two, three, four, five, pause, six. I have 100 plus 10, 20, 30, 40, plus six, and that equals 146. So let's use these as our new proof drawings. But when you're asked, how much is this worth? You're going to say 100. When you're asked, how do you know? You're going to say, because it's 100 ones or it's 10 tens. When someone says, what is this? You're going to say, it's a 10 stick. And they're going to say, how do you know? And you're going to say, because it's made up of 10 ones. So 140 plus 6 equals 146. It would be the same as 100, which if I look really closely, I can see all the individual ones. And if I counted each one of these, I would find that there's 100. If I want to go fast, I can do a quick 10. And I can see that it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 20, 30, 
40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I have 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 46. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Adding 100. Let's start with our number. Let's read it. 259. Now I'm going to build it. When I build it, I'm going to first do it with a, with a quick draw. Here we go. I have 100, 200, and I know those are hundreds because each 100 has 10, 10 sticks or 100 ones. I can see them in my brain. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I did five tens, and I know those are 10 sticks because each 10 stick has 10 ones. I can see them in my brain. Then a nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know that it has two hundreds, five extra tens, and nine extra ones. Next, I'm going to build it with secret code cards. I have two hundreds, it matches. I have five tens, which is 50, it matches. And I have nine ones which matches. If I turn it over, the back of my secret code cards should also show my proof drawing. Next, I'm going to expand it. Let's write the number. It was 200 plus 50 plus 9. And that equaled 259. But I'm also going to write it another way. What if I wrote it just as tens and ones? How many tens and ones are in my number? Well, I can see five tens, but aren't there more tens than five? There are. There are 10 here and there are 10 here, just like you can see in my secret code cards. So really I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I have 25 tens. And I know that tens ends in a zero. 25 tens is the same as 250. Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 210, 220, 230, 240, 250. 25 tens is the same as 250. Plus how many ones? Nine. Now I want us to add, and today we're going to add 100. If I add 100, I'm always going to start with my proof picture. Let's make our proof picture one more time. 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. And I know that I need to add 100. I'm going to add 100 in a different color so I can tell what was added. I have 259 plus 100. The only thing that changed is the 100. What stayed the same? My 10s and my 1s. Let's count. 10, 20, or sorry, 100, 200, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 350, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have 359. For my original number, my 1's didn't change, my 10's didn't change, the only thing that changed were my 100's. I got one more. Let's try it again over here, but let's subtract. Remember, start with your proof picture. 10, I keep saying that, let's try again. We have 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Now I'm going to subtract 100. 
I'm going to use a different color to show why I subtracted. A minus sign shows to subtract. So now you can see that I subtracted. Let's count to see what's left. If I had 259 and I subtract 100, what do I get left? 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. I get 159. Let's see what stayed the same. Looks like the 9 stayed the same. The 5, 10 stayed the same. The only thing that changed was the 100. Adding 10. Let's try our new number. Let's read it. 292. Let's build it. 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, pause, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92. 292. As I build it, I'm now going to write it. 200 plus 90 plus 2 equals 292. But how else could I write it? I wrote it as hundreds, tens, and ones. Could I write it as tens and ones instead? Let's count. I have nine tens, but I know I have more tens in each of my hundreds. If I were to write this number as just tens, I would say there's 10 here, there's 10 here, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I have 29 tens. And 29 tens is the same as 290. So if I were to rewrite my whole number, I would have 290 plus 2. And that equals 292. Let's draw it as we add 10. 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92. I'm going to add 10 with a different color. If I add 10, I'm going to add my 10 stick right here. Anyone notice what happened? I had 9 tens, now I have 10 tens. How much is 10 tens? 10 tens is 100. I'm going to show it with a different color and I'm going to write a box around my 100. Now I have 100, 200, 300, 301, 302. If I had 292 and I added 10, I got 302. I had 300s, 100, 200, 300. I didn't have any extra tens, and I had two ones. Let's see what changed. I still had two ones. I had nine tens. Do I still have nine tens? Nope, that changed. So my tens had to change because my hundreds ended up changing. I had enough tens to make a new hundred. Let's subtract 10. Count with me. 10, 100. 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, pause, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92. Now let's subtract 10. In a different color, I'm going to use a minus sign. If I have 292 and I subtract 10, let's see what happened. 100, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82. I got 282. 282 means my two stayed the same. My 10 changed, but my hundreds stayed the same. 292 minus 10 equals 282. When I subtracted, the only thing that happened was my eight changed, my eight tens. Thanks for joining. Please help me by liking the video, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Thanks and we'll see you soon.